Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. And hello, Cheryl. I'm waiting for my YouTube to catch up. Hey, no ad. Hey, that's good. Ha. I shouldn't be watching my own ads is what I shouldn't be doing. Anyway, um, welcome to my Tuesday Night Resin Live. If you, if, if anybody watched, let me see who's here. Uh, hello, Kim, and hello, Melissa, and hello, Jeff B. Um, I've, I already got my resin mixed, so, because I'm going to do two cutting boards tonight. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, yesterday's video, I showed how, how to tape them. The only thing that I did forget to show was taping the back of the handle because I, I, I don't like sitting there waiting for the drips and everything. So, And I know this looks weird, but that keeps them level. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, this one's going to get a white background, and then it's going to get purple and gold over it. This one's going to, I'm going to try for an ocean scene. <laughs> try. I don't have very much room, so I don't know. So I'm going to mix up some white casting craft. I probably didn't update my, um, update the colors below, but I will do that as soon as the live is over. Because I'm using casting craft. Hello, Pam. Seeing if I'm missing anybody. These are pretty simple to do. The taping part, I think, is the hardest part, really, you know. But you don't have a lot of area to work with. So, what you have to do is... Oh, my God, Carol! Hey, Carol, you'd be proud of me. I had some baby carrots for lunch, along with beef stroganoff, but I had baby carrots. Don't want to put a whole lot of white in there because I don't want it to be too opaque. Wait a minute, let me put the cat back on that. Oh, hello, Mary Lou. Nice to see you here. Mary Lou follows uh, Tish, and she follows uh, Johnny, J-Mo Painting. So you guys might know her from the other chats. I have been waiting for you to come in, Carol, for me to tell you that. It, it's a running joke. Um, hey, Mike, how you doing? It's been a running joke for a long time now. Carol tells me I need to eat my vegetables. Well, when she used to tell me I need to eat my vegetables, I was having jalapeno poppers, so I figured jalapenos are vegetables, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, um, the, two, the four colors I'm mixing in the micas is I'm mixing the Okinawa blue and the Okinawa green, which are my favorite eye candy colors that are go-to for beach scenes and I'm going to do the thing that everybody does where and I'm not mixing a whole lot because I I don't know I don't I don't need a whole lot um and I am going to do because this is brown I am going to do a line of a line of uh clear in between the colors and the white Oh, well, thank you, Mary Lou. I am so happy to see you here. I will be over at Tisha's later moderating. So I'll probably see you over there, too. And this is my Okinawa blue. Don't need a whole lot. Let's see who else came in. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. I know they're vegetables. <laughs> I did pick up another bad habit, though. I'm drinking diet. They're diet sodas, but I'm drinking a lot of sodas now. 
And hello, Julie. And hello, good day, Sue. Okay. Okay, that one's mixed. This is, let me show you. This is the Okinawa Blue. It's got a shimmer to it. This is the Okinawa Green, which also has got a shimmer to it. But those two together make a great beach. And hello, Sally. Ooh, I got to show Sally this real quick while I'm mixing resin. Look at this big skin I got off of, off of one of my trays today for you. Ha! And hello, Deb. Nice to see you. So I know Sally's happy about this. Because um, Sally loves my skins. Let's see if I missed anybody. And I, everybody that was so nice last week, last Tuesday with their super chats, I decided I'm going to start doing a little five second super chat uh, video. To, I forgot to add the word thank you to it, so you'll have to excuse me on that. Yeah, um, I got a, I don't have it handy, but I got a painting that uh, Sally made me with some skins. So all of you that deal with resin, um, I don't want to put, well, hopefully I got enough. I don't know if I've made enough of each color. Oh, I forgot to show you these. This is the velvet. I love this purple. I don't want to get it too close because I know my lights, when I get too close to the camera, it blows it out. And this is the Kin Gold with a bubble in it, but excuse the bubble. And this is going to go on top of white. Okay, let's see here. First, I'm going to do the little beach scene. And I better move this so I don't blow resin. Well, I guess I could put it back there because that still keeps them on camera. And hi, Carrie. Okay, let's do some beach. Now, I don't have a lot of each color mixed, but that's okay because I don't have that big of an area. I'm just putting some of the blue down. Because I'm going to mix them together. And, and if you all missed my video yesterday, I showed how I taped these off. Because I actually had a viewer request off of another uh, bamboo board I did. How do I tape them off? Oh, Jeff B. Jeff B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hang on a second. Thank you, thank you very much. I have to stop and go over by the com by the um by the computer to play that little video. It's only five seconds. I need to add a big thank you on the bottom of it. I was in a rush to get it done. Oh, yes, Mary Lou, you're right. The outcome of this is just so pretty. Okay, this is some of my green. Mmm, I may have made too much green. Let me put a little bit up here. Okay, now I'm going to. Uh, no, I'm going to. I'm going to use my fingers, but I need my alcohol rag, which is just cut up T-shirts. They sell it at our local thrift store for uh, three dollars a bag. 
Don't get oh no, I don't get resin on the keys. You know how I you know how I um this is gonna seem funny, but I have this pen with the stylus on the end, and this is what I use on my computer when I got resin gloves on. <laughs> I do it also when I got paint on my fingers too. Okay. I wanna have my have my cleaning rag handy. I'm just spreading this up to the edge. Now I said in the video it's very very hard to tape this inside hole so it's gonna drip it's gonna drip down the inside but that's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put a line of clear, and then I'm going to add my white. Because this uh, clear with the white over it, and I'm not using all the white on this because the rest of it is the base coat for that one over there. Ah, come on. And I'm going to do a couple little squiggles up here. <laughs> okay. And I taped off my switch. And my rule of thumb is don't point it at your piece for five seconds after you turn it on. Let the dust boogers blow away. And I'm going over it, heating it up and popping air bubbles. Now, I don't have the right attachment on here, but I think it's going to work. Okay, let's see. Yep, there we go. I know I got a straight line taped off right there, but that's okay if this doesn't turn out um, with the uh, with a straight line. Because waves never have a straight line. Okay. Now... I'm going to let that little guy sit and see what it does while I do the other one. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Sally. I try to be entertaining. Okay, I'm going to move this guy off of here. This one's going to get a base coat of the white. This one is taped off the same way as that one. I thought uh, elegant colors would look good with this little um, point shape that I taped off. I know I kept calling it a diamond yesterday. Okay, that one doesn't need any more white, so I'm going to put the rest of the white on here. Now, I do have, I think it's below this video, um, I do have a link to a federal regulation. It's a site that, that says the regulations for all this about um, what's food safe or food contact safe. And resin is food contact safe. Okay, but you've got to remember, they didn't say that the pigments are food contact safe. So, if you're going to have any food touching it, like these might, you want to do a second layer over all the uh, colors with clear. Okay. 
Mm, I might have gotten it a little thin right there. And the other thing I didn't say in the video uh, when I was showing how to tape these is I didn't show you. I'm going to just pop air bubbles real quick. I see a bunch of them. Um, you want to take the tape off at about four hours. The, just the tape that's right next to the resin, not the one on the back. So that way... You don't get a, have trouble taking it off, is, is I guess what I should say. Okay. I'm going to put some purple down. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. Um, I guess I'll just... Guess I'll just do some squiggle lines. And then I will give it some gold. This gold with this purple is, I probably should have used black, but that purple gets lost on the black. So when you're picking out colors, you gotta think uh, how dark the colors are that you're using. And if they're going to get lost in the background. Okay. See, and I got a little bit of purple and a little bit of gold left to do those spoon handles. Okay, pop bubbles, and then I will blow it out a little bit. Sorry if my gun's blocking your view, but I'm in tight quarters here. Okay, now this one over here, I don't know what happened right there. I must have dripped some clear in there, so let me see if I can blow those little spots out a little bit. That one's got a spot in it, too. I don't know where these spots are coming from. Hello, Elisa! And hello, Clara! Let me just blow that little spot, whatever it is. Okay, like I said, in four hours, I will take this tape off right here and right here so I don't get a, a hard edge right there. Okay, now handles are a different story. <laughs> I was going to say something, Elisa, but I didn't want to call you out. Okay, basically I'm just going to do some purple over this and then some gold.
and the hole on the in the handle is not taped on the back because you don't want your resin to pool up in there See, I don't have a lot of room to really do a design on this, so I'm just making sure I get the two colors on here so it matches. These, Christmas is coming up. These make great gifts. And the board themselves do not cost that much because I get the Walmart bamboo stuff. Well, I'll tell you, the... Um, the spoons cost a little bit more because these are that one brand, um, Pioneer Woman. I had to think for a minute. Okay. Oh, they did. I didn't re realize that. Now, they don't have to be matchy-matchy. Okay, now, I do, I, I, I can tell you one other little trick. When you go to blow the resin that's on the handles, put your hand right here so you don't end up blowing it down. Because... the air is strong enough to kind of tip it. Well, that's how they're going to have to be. That's all I can say about them. Aw, uh, poor Tater. Tater good boy, huh? Tater good boy, huh? So, did I miss any questions? I didn't know if I missed any questions or not. I don't know if I have any white. Yeah, I got a little bit of white to add to this. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Just want to give it a little spot of white so it matches the board. There we go. That's better than nothing. Oh, no questions. Thank you, Cheryl. I I don't know if uh, Cheryl or Elisa will be available to moderate, but I'm going to go live tomorrow night for a little bit at 5 o'clock to just um, put a clear coat on here, but I want everybody to see how it looks. Oh, see? See, I told you it's trying to tilt because I'm not holding it. I lost a lot of my purple right there. <laughs> so, let me see if I got any more purple left. Yeah. This poor thing has... See, you can see all the purple dripped off. So, um, if everybody wants to join me tomorrow night uh, at 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time, because we don't go back to standard until um, until um, Sunday. So it's six o'clock Eastern, and uh, let me see. 3 o'clock uh, Pacific, and 4 o'clock Elisa time. <laughs> so, 
I hope everybody enjoyed watching this. They don't take long to make. They don't take long to make. That's the p nice part about them. They make some of the greatest gifts. And I don't know what else to say. Um, so I'll be live tomorrow. I do go live every Sunday and I do acrylics. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did you know it was Baltimore Ravens colors? <laughs> I think everybody knows that I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan. Well, see, till the day I die, till I'm cold and dead. Yep, yep, Tish will be live over at the Artist Haven. Yeah, um... I'm trying to think. Well, wait a minute. I can untie it since I don't have to worry about resin. This is one of my Baltimore shirts. I was living there when we got the team. I was also living there when we won the first Super Bowl. And even though the crap that happened in Atlanta, I'm still a Ray Lewis fan. Always will be. I will not wear my Flacco jersey anymore because of how he turned out, but I haven't gotten a Lamar Jackson jersey yet. I have an Ed Reed jersey. Uh, I'm trying to think who else I have. I don't know. I got, I got like 20 different Raven shirts in my closet. So, thank you all for coming out tonight. I, I try to keep my Tuesday nights short because of... Um, Tish is live in 34 minutes from now. I, oh, hi, Gina. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's not a very long one. You can go watch the replay. Um, I'm not sure what these are going to look like, but hey, you know, matter of fact, let me see, yeah, I have a little bit of gold I can put right through. Right through there, just to give it some more color. But I'm not going to blow it anymore, and I'll tell you why. Because that seemed to blow all the color off. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you very much. So, uh... Right before I go to bed, four hours from now, ugh, will be 10.30. Well, I've been staying up late, so I should be able to stay up until then. Um, I will be pulling the tape off, because it should set up by then. I do not have enough resin left to put in the mold. And I will be, Gina, tomorrow... Uh, 5 p.m. Central Time, which I can't remember where you live at, but that's an hour. It's 6 o'clock. Um, I'm trying to think. It's, oh, wow. I didn't realize how much resin I still had in here. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I think I got some coasters I can do real quick. I got some coasters that need to be uh, clear-coated. Because I um, clear coated the uh, the hearts earlier, and as soon as I get these are ready to be sold, I will put a link on the video, so you'll have to come back and watch the replay. But there'll be a link to where they'll be listed at on Etsy. So, oh hello, Patricia. I'm sorry you're a little late. Yep. Well, maybe not mold time. Maybe um, coating some coasters. So I will update as soon as I get on the back on the computer after this. I will update with the colors. These are all eye candy colors. Don't forget, if you do want to get them, you can go to their to their site through my link, and I have a ten percent off discount code. Um. The KS Resin, I've got a 5% off discount code, too, 
which is DF Designs. Oh, domestic goddess duties. Well, I don't have... Oh, all that heat, my tape kind of drooped underneath. That happens. That happens with the heat and, and this tape. Oh, you're very welcome, Cheryl. I am so glad you guys came out. I'll be live tomorrow. As a matter of fact, when I'm on the computer, I will set it up. It, I will just be showing what they look like, and then I'm going to do a clear coat real quick. Oh, hello, Trey. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I got to get back to this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Trey. Yep, Disco Davo. I've got the Disco Ball to prove it. I still haven't gotten around to editing it. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know who that is, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you, CSM Steph. So, that must be a Steph. So... Let me get back over here. And I'm going to play it. Whoops. Oh. I'm going to play it twice for that one. You get, you get it twice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. Super Chat Superstars. I love you guys. Okay, so 5 p.m. tomorrow night. You'll see how they dried and set up. I don't know who, what Steph that is. I, I mean, and I know it's not my daughter. Because I think my daughter's YouTube handle says Steph, Steph Sue or Steph with a bunch of PHs behind it. Yep. You're awesome, Steph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I do want to let you go so you guys, you know, can go go get ready for Tisha's Live. And 5 p.m. Central Time tomorrow night. We'll see how these little guys turned out. And I will take the tape off tonight. And I might put, I might, I don't know if I'm going to put more tape down or not, but they got to be clear coated, so I'm going to clear coat them tomorrow. Oh, you're new! Okay. Thank you very much. I love you guys. I especially love my new people. What a way to, what a way to say welcome to DF Designs. So, I'm going to let everybody go. I love the resin right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. Every one of you are awesome. Uh, yeah, he is live tonight. Um, I got a... Oh, it's hot in here because I can't open my window. Uh, you know me and these lights. I sweat like a stuck pig under them. So yeah, if you if you can put his link up real quick, um, Cheryl. Um, well, at eight o'clock, which is nine o'clock Eastern time, um, go over to Max World Entertainment if you're a Star Trek fan like I am, and support his channel. And we're all gonna go over and support Tish at the Artist Haven in a little bit. So, love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Love the resin right out of you. And see y'all tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Central Time, to finish these little guys. Okay? All I can say is, bye for now.